Yes guys, no surprise I'm rough again so we got a takeaway from Mumbai to London in Droylston. We've only been once in the past and we absolutely loved it so we thought it was time to give them another go. First up I'm going to try the chicken ruby. Now I remember this curry from last time. It was absolutely unreal and I had to order it again. It's not how I remember it tasting, it's really nice. It's a good curry, more traditional tasting. It's got a right kick to it. Very similar. You know what I'm saying, don't you? Yeah. One thing I will mark the curry down on, there's barely any chicken. Like I think I've got about four pieces of chicken. It is just mainly sauce, so they have been a bit stingy with the chicken. But they did throw in some chicken wings, which I didn't order, so can't argue too much. See what these are like. Oh, they're delicious then. Mm. Well nice. They've got a nice kick to them again, Jesus. They're brilliant, them wings just fall off the bone. But thank you for throwing these in. They're absolutely delicious. Next up, I'm gonna try the veggie samosa for the nice, this is it, like a yogurt bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, very well, good then. I prefer veggie samosas to meat ones, me. They're absolutely delicious. Oh shit. It just drops all that on the table for God's sake. Every time I do a video takeaway review and I drop some on the table. Just have to dip it in that. Oh, that bit's nice as well, isn't it? That's the mango. Hmm? Leah said the curry's absolutely belting. Instead of chips. We went for the more traditional, what are they called? Gunfire potatoes, something like that. Mm. And they look really good. Yeah. The flavours on that are unreal, aren't they? Yeah. With the curry sauce, but they're never. It's got such a kick to it. So we've got the garlic, coriander and chutney. Nan bread, I'm sure it's that. If you look at the menu, you'll know which one I mean. I'm gonna try it before dipping it into some first so I can taste what it tastes like on its own. Oh my god. That's amazing. That's like the tastiest nan bread ever that. Some proper taste of chutney on it and whatever else is on it. Oh my god. Let's get it dipped in. Lovely. Instead of poppadoms as well, they do these little bad boys all mm. different colours. Bosh. Get them, dip them into the sauce. Oh, we've also got this little bread here. What's this called? Mm -hmm. I don't know, we've seen it and we ordered it. Fancy something different, so. Get a bit of that on there. It's okay, I don't think I'll order it yeah, I'm not a fan of that. It's all right, yeah. but it, I'm glad we got the nan bread as well. Yeah. So what I've got here is some samosa chat. Leah said it's fantastic, so I'm looking forward to this. Got a bit of everything in there. Oh yeah, it's really nice. It's dead fresh tasting as well, isn't it? I like that. Mm. Really good. I can't look, I can't look at you. Can't do Leah's getting annoyed because I've got it all around my mouth. Oh, <laughs> all over the what table. What have you done, man? All over the table, everywhere. I honestly think the baby would make less mess. Right, overall birdie. The curry wasn't as nice as what I remembered it being, but it was still very nice. It was a bit stingy on the portion with the chicken. It was just mainly sauce, but it's what it is. They threw in some chicken wings, which I can't complain about. They was delicious. Mm -hmm. If we do go again, I would like to dine in because I've had it twice and it's been takeaway both times and everywhere is better when you're dining in it so it's only fair we go and dine in. Everything else was bang on, weren't it? The samosas, the rice, everything was really good and yeah I highly recommend I'll probably give it an 8 out of 10. The thing I like about here is the curries, they're all like made properly with their own recipes, do you know what I mean? Like you go to some curry houses and they've just got one big pot in the back and every curry on the menu tastes the exact same just a few different variations, do you know what I mean? So I feel like this is proper Indian food, innit? Do you know what I mean? Give Mumbai to London a go in Jarlston, you will not regret it. I don't think you will anyway, it was really good that. 